Did you get through week one? If you did, great, because here we go into week number two. And what I want to start doing today is to talk about some of those characteristics that help create the 100-100 swing. And that just stands for 100-100, just stands for 100% on time with 100% efficiency. When we start looking at what creates efficiency uh, in no particular order, one of the first items that we're going to look at is absorption. And that is the time that when the hitter gets to impact, a lot of times we'll see that bat really give as though the ball is a little bit overpowering. And so what we're trying to do here today is to make sure that when we get to the ball, when we get to the baseball, when we get to the softball, that we are in a strong position. And so the drill that I have set up here for you today, this is just an absorption drill. One of those characteristics is absorption. Uh, this is a self-leveling drill, which means after you do it the first time, you're going to realize exactly what you have to do to be successful in, in, in this, in this uh, drill itself uh, so that we can apply that into when we're hitting baseball. So we want to be uh, aggressive and attack the ball. But what you will find out is I'm using a basketball. Uh, it's just the rubber kind. I got it at a, a local 5 and 10 store. I think I paid like $4 for it. Uh, and I also have a smaller one here. I also have a smaller one, and I paid three for that one, okay? And it's slightly deflated, and the reason for that is as I get to the ball, it'll actually have a little more resistance, and it'll want to kick this barrel back. So the caveat is the first time you swing, make sure you swing. After the first swing, you're going to understand exactly what this drill is and how it affects your swing, okay? And so just the demonstration from a fat old man, this would be uh, uh, an absorption drill, okay? This is just lead arm absorption. Okay, and if you look, you could probably see my barrel flip over there a little bit. Didn't go crazy on it. And then if you wanted to progress it, you could go to a one hand swing, right? Where we're staying connected with the swing or with a lead hand, allowing that to work. And obviously with a smaller player, a younger player, shouldn't say smaller, a younger player, uh, I would use the mini basketball, and again, slightly deflated, and uh, that won't have as much resistance, but it'll still give the same effect to young hitters, okay? So absorption drill starts week two. How do we incorporate it? Well, we would have our warm-up, so we just go through our warm-ups. Then I'm using the T for the absorption drill because I want to be able to feel what this is like at the ball, and now I'm going to go right back after this drill. I'm going to go right back and do my throws where I'm working on my right nails. I want to continue to measure those. And I'm going to do the three sets of 10. First sets are just working through an area. Obviously, you can progress that. Obviously, you can regress that. If you wanted to progress that, um, uh, it's, you just can add multiple sets. You can add a heavier bat. You can add a lighter bat. Um, so when we do that, the first set is just one area. Second set is one pitch, two areas. And then the third set can be two pitches, two areas. Okay? Just still want to know what's all going on with that. Going to use my right now. Going to work my targets. Going to write everything down. Okay? In the meantime, I'll be back with another of the 100-100 tips. Coach Bill, I'll see you soon.